such a beautiful day today. Just gonna take a really short trip up this Calder and Hebel navigation and ending up at a pub of the week, which so many people have recommended to me. I feel like it's not, it can't possibly live up to expectations. We'll have to see. But I've already run ahead and spoke with the manager of the little basin next to it and see if I can get a spot. I don't know if that spot will still be available to me when I actually get there today because things on the canal don't always go to plan. But I've got a map here so I know where I'm going. <laughs> just going to go that way. Um, but there is a turning I've got to make just before a lock. There's only one lock to do today. Just a couple of miles, that's all. up to the only lock that I'm going to do today and I don't yet know what apparatus to use to open it. The guide doesn't say for each lock whether or not you need that uh, Calder, Calder and Hebel spike or just a windlass and I don't know what's going to be broken or what's going to be working in terms of the paddles that let water in and out. So it's just pot luck really. I fly on my glasses. <laughs> Very annoying. Yeah, that was hard work, but um, not impossible. Both of these paddles work to varying extents. But it's such a lovely day. I'm just taking my time and enjoying the whole process. I just love locks. I love going through locks. In fact, when anyone says to me, oh, do you want help with that lock? I sort of, you know, I get a bit, like, bit funny about it, really, because this is my favourite thing to do. <laughs> It's like saying, oh, Robbie, I'll write a song for you. You know, it's like, well, yeah, that's great, but <laughs> I love doing it myself. Oh, well, maybe they're just like me and they get a lot of enjoyment out of opening locks. I get that. If you've watched my channel before, you probably know how I open the locks myself. It's a lot of getting on and off the boat. <laughs> but right now, I've got my boat in the lock, so we're all ready to go up. There's a lot of leakage coming in from that, those gates there. Uh, my next step is, of course, to shut these gates and make sure the paddles aren't open so that any water that is coming through into this lock is just gonna fill it up, ready for me to take on the next section. And, you know, as soon as I get to Pub of the Week, the better, isn't it? There is quite a problem here in that I've had to tie around the ladder for the lock. That's not something that is a good idea to do because over time um, the pressure of the boat being pulled around and the rope being wound around the ladder it will just, uh, just bend it in so it all out of shape and make it unusable for boaters like me that need it. But for boaters like me that also need a mooring in the middle for the centre line what am I supposed to do? There's no other option.
I have spotted another issue with this lock and that is that the lower gates have a, a gap so that there is a lot of leakage coming out that way and that occurs because a lot of boats will just leave one gate open and just try and squeeze through. In this case this lock isn't that wide so any boats that do try that are just going to keep rubbing against the wood and um, yeah cause a gap to appear letting all the water out. There's actually so much water coming in through the upper gates that I'm, I'm not even bothering to open any of the paddles yet. I'm just taking my time. And that'll be less stress on the ladder that I've tied up to. And do you know what? Whilst I'm taking my time, might as well get the drone out and see what this area looks like from the skies. Oh, well now I feel stupid. There are ground paddles here um, that you would use the spike for. Should we see if they work? Let's do that. These ground paddles look and work differently to other ones on the system, but they do the exact same job really. They're just taking water from the top pound where this canal is, down underground through culverts into the bottom of the lock. So the lock can fill from the bottom upwards so it's creating a lot less wash for the boats it removed the risk of water gushing in over the top in through the cratch and yeah just generally sped everything up so it was a great addition to the canals well actually i'll be honest i don't really know if they do work because uh, the lock is now full so I can open these gates and uh, carry on and then come back and shut all the paddles. That's probably the most annoying part. It's the part where gone goozlers, people who like to watch canal boaters do their thing, it's the part where they walk away because they're just bored. <laughs> they're like, oh, it's done now, boat's gone through, nothing else to do. No, you still got to go back and shut the gates and shut the paddles. Right, now it's time to add some new members to the Crank It crew. We've got uh, Sharon Prince, Sissy McKissick and her husband David Barber, Gavin Roberts, Christine Danks, Richard Stinton, Sue Whale, Jerry and Anne Harlow, John Galen, Mark Sugden, who becomes a producer, mm. And going in at the highest level, Captain Marcel Potter. Thank you so much for being so generous. Legend. Thanks, mate. And we've got Ian Sherwood and another producer, Michael Thompson. Cheers, Michael. And then a couple of stowaways on the end, Evie and Holly Rag. Thank you so much to everyone that supported me through Patreon. Without 
you guys on the Crank It crew. I don't know what I would do. I've literally got nothing to fall back on, so uh, yeah, so thanks. <laughs> Like most of the canals and rivers in the UK, the Calder and Hevel has got some cracking bridges. They're all different shapes and sizes, and I love the Yorkshire stone that often appears either side. And that black and white colour scheme is one that I, I, I really enjoy. Better the blue and white. Dead ahead of me is a lock. There's also a turning off to the arm, the Dewsbury arm of the canal, which is the way I'm headed. To get to pub off the wig. Before that, I've spotted some free firewood. So I'm gonna pull in and chuck that on the roof. That'll do me. I've got a fair load there. And that'll be perfect for when it isn't as cold, but you still need to run the fire perhaps at night when it's coldest. I've left a bit there for the next boater. Don't you worry. This arm off the main line of the canal is only roughly just over half a mile long. So it won't take us long to get to the end. There's no more locks, just a few bends and that's it. about to go under this bridge and then I'll almost be there just hoping the mooring that's been set aside for me verbal agreement is, uh, is still available it might not be it's been 24 hours that's a popular mooring spot chilling at the canal I do have to time someone's boat, but the spot that I've requested is 
Right then, so got some lovely boaters over there. <laughs> They've just greeted me very warmly. And um, these are all the boats along here. Yeah, there's not much room. There's one spot I can see. That's about it. And then there's a pub. And as the sun sets on our intrepid voyage to pub of the week, we retire to... No, no, we're going to keep carry on drinking. Um, yeah, so we're back to the bar. We're going to get a sample rack of these beers. Let's just test them out. Golden Ale, Pale Ale, and this one, I'm not sure which one. And that, oh, they didn't last long, did they? Um, and that's Pub of the Week. Uh, thanks for joining me. Right, let's talk about washing machines. Because uh, I haven't got one on board. Uh, I was very grateful to use the washing machines that are just below the pub, actually. Uh, you have to pay. Um, but I uh, also have to put up with it not working properly. I had to wring out some of my clothes because was, they were so wet. But... This site has the cleanest LSAN point I've ever seen. We can't finish the vlog like that. Let's go back in the pub for a fry up. Ah, oh, I love a good full English breakfast. Look at that. Massive field mushroom, bacon, sausages, beans, tomatoes, and not just from a can as well, real tomatoes. Robbie, you just got a little bit on your, that's it. Use your pink napkin to, to keep your <laughs> appearances. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching this absolute mess. Uh, love you guys. See you later. Bye.